Hi guys, I want to show you how to build that same circuit we built with Tinkercad using another simulation software that we're going to find very useful this semester called LT Spice. Tinkercad is great when you're trying to learn how to physically build something with a prototyping board and plug wires in and so on. LT Spice is more of a sophisticated tool for simulation of real circuits um, because it has better models for the different uh, components that we're going to be using. So let's uh, let's look how that works. So I'm, I've got two versions of LT Spice. Some of you guys have Macs, some of you guys have um, Windows computers. And so let's uh, let me go ahead and I'll pull up the Mac version first. LT Spice. I've just said I want to make a new circuit, and the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'll right click on the desktop and then I'll say I want to make a component. You could also hit F2, does the same thing, uh, brings up a dialog. I can type in VOL here in the search bar and I get a voltage source which is what I need. So I'll get a voltage source. Um, then I can do the same thing. Let's see if I want another component. I need a resistor so I'll type RES. I get a resistor and actually I want to have two resistors. There you go. I hit escape again. Now I need to draw some wires, so I'm going to uh, hit F3, or I can just click the wires here in the draft dialog. So we'll go, whoopsie, that's not what I want. Um, let's try that again. My screen recording software also uses function keys, and so it will get very confused if I actually use the function keys here, which I would normally do if I weren't screen recording. Um, <coughs> okay, I think that's all I need with that for the moment. Let's go ahead and put in 10 volts for this power supply. I'm going to put in 1,000 ohms here for this top resistor, um <coughs> just like we did in Tinkercad, and I'll put 1,000 ohms in for this guy. I know in Tinkercad we had a photoresistor here, and you dialed the knob to get it to, to get some resistance. There's no photo uh, resistor in LT Spice, so uh, we'll just have to put in a resistance. I'll just put in 1K just to have it be something intelligent. Um, the other thing I need here is to create a oh, I want to draft a Spice directive. We've got to tell Spice what it is we want to do. If I uh, I w if I just run this thing and see what the voltage does over time, it's not going to do anything because it's a DC circuit. The, the voltage is just constant, so it'll just be a constant voltage, which isn't very interesting. What I'd like to do is to sweep the voltage. I want to start at 0 volts and take it up from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. So I'm going to type in uh, DC sweep. That's the DC sweep directive. I'm going to say I want to sweep voltage 1. I want to go from 0 volts to 10 volts in 1 volt steps. So that's how you spell that. It's beginning voltage, ending voltage, and the delta between the voltages. And I can just set that directive down there anywhere, <coughs> and I'm ready to go. So what I want to do is uh, zoom the circuit back in here, and then click the little running guy. Uh, oh, I left out the, so I need a network draft I need to name ground so I'm going to click ground here and I'm just going to go down here and stick a ground on LT Spice requires that you name a particular node as being ground so now it's happy so I can simply uh, now I've got a graph but it's not graphing anything I need to go back to the circuit and tell it what to graph so I'm going to tell it to graph this voltage it looks like an oscilloscope probe here and then I'm going to tell it to graph this voltage so notice you've got uh, V1 here, it's sweeping from 0 to 10 volts, and then we are also getting the voltage at this point in the circuit. That's the voltage between R1 and R2. Um, the other thing I want to point out is that we can save this voltage as a file. I can click the data export tool. It's going to save the voltage of node 1 and node 2. We're going to use that later <coughs> to analyze this data. Okay, let's do the same thing in Windows just so you can see how that works. I'll run LT Spice. I'll say I want to make a new schematic. Um, it's the same idea. Um, I can go to Draft. I can select Component. It also uses F2, and I'm still using the same um, same screen uh, capturing software. So F2 will 
do bad things. I don't want to do that. So, whoopsie. Um, okay, so I'm going to hit escape. Move the circuit back up here. I'm going to go to draft again. Actually, you can also just grab a resistor here. The Windows version has a kind of a menu. So I can grab a resistor here. I can also draw wires. Hit escape again. Uh, I can also draw wires here. That's the same as hitting F3. So if I go to draft, draw wire, that's F3, but I can also just click here. So that works. Um, we're going to draw exactly the same wires. Okay. And it'll be a precisely the same circuit. Very good. Um, I needed to find a net, so I'm going to define ground to be here. <coughs> if you hover over this guy, you'll see it says ground. Okay, so we're defining ground. Now, finally, um, I need to define these voltages. So I'm going to make this a 10 volt supply. We'll, whoopsie. We'll make this a 1K resistor. We'll make this guy a 1K resistor. And, uh, and then we should be able to run. Let's try it. Oh, I left out the analysis. So we want to go back to draft. We want to add a spice directive. It's the same one. It's dot DC sweep. We're going to go V1 is going to go from 0 to 10 in steps of 1. Boom. I'll stick that down there. And now make the guy go. <coughs> okay. Um, I'm just going to come down here and click the scope probe there and then click the scope probe there and we get the same exact graph. To get it to a file here, it's a little different. I go to, uh, hang on a second, where did that go? Uh, I saw it a minute ago. Draft, maybe, ah, I have to click on the graph and then I can say export data as text, the same idea. So you get a text file with the data in it. Okay, that's all I have for you. There will be another video where I'll go through how you load that data into Python and evaluate it, analyze it, etc. All right, very good.